Alright guys, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it short. This is Hayatiza number two, Iki. Um, Hayat is life, Iza is reason or explanation in Turkish. So this is like an explanation of my life so far. Um, so I'm applying to Facebook University and before I do that, I want to make my website like more presentable and have it look have it have more content of the things I'm making and I'm running into a lot of problems with Weebly so I'm just gonna make my own website like from scratch from the ground up and um, I'm using like uh, the responsive design uh, guidelines from W3 the web consortium and it's like kind of hard <laughs> But I feel like if I'm going to advertise myself as a web designer, I should show that I'm able to make my own website. So I'm doing that. Um, that's hard, but we'll see about that. I was like especially concerned with how I would do a blog from scratch. But then I realized that no matter how good my blog looks on my website, it's not going to look um, it's not going to have as much social engagement as if, I, as if I just link to my Medium. You know what I mean? Medium has the clapping, and people have Medium accounts, and they share, and stuff like that. And if I just have a link to blog and then direct that to Medium, then like so many things are, are working out better than if I... Um, have my own blog on my own website and then cross post to medium um so that was something i was thinking about it's it's funny because like i would like to make like a nice looking readable website with all my own styling and have all my own articles on there but it's just maybe not as worth it and i'm thinking i'm gonna it, it's better to put that work into uh, pages about each of the individual projects I'm doing. Um, so what are these individual projects I'm doing? Um, so if you were following me on Facebook, I randomly came up with this brand called Kimai. Um, it was just me sort of experimenting with typography and like floral patterns, um, on like t-shirts and other things like that. And it got a lot of reception and a lot of people liked it. And I was going to make t-shirts for it, and I completely forgot. <laughs> There's like a lot of other things going on. So that's, that's going to happen before the end of winter break. I'm going to go on Teespring and make a bunch of different t-shirt sweater combos for each of the designs. And then I'll make a website, probably a Weebly website, that hosts all of them. And you can like look through all the icons and see which ones you like and browse through and then buy one if you want. I'm going to make it as cheap as possible, which means I get one cent uh, profit. Um, and I think that's about $10, $11 for a t-shirt, which is pretty good considering Redbubble t-shirts go for like $20, 63 medium or me minimum, you know? Probably there's like a, a bunch of sweatshops that they employ in order to get it down that far. I think Teespring is is owned by Amazon. I don't know for sure. So it's a little sketch, but like I'm not going to sell anything otherwise, I bet. Um, okay, Bolo Bowl. So for my mom's birthday, I made a, uh, a two-player local multiplayer uh, physics-based soccer game and you can play it right now if you go on my itch my itchio i'll link it in the description uh it runs with webgl so it runs in your browser but it's not as a uh, high frame rate as i like it to be so you can always download it and then uh, play it as a standalone game and it has like super high frames per second you know 120 200 whatever you want it's it's a soccer game it's a lot of fun and I made it I made it in eight hours which even surprised me I was like whoa you know that's that's fast um, okay roomy matcher so as you might know if you're a UCLA student um, UCLA 
uh, next year's uh, roommates matching thing is out right now and if you want to pick your roommates pick where you want to stay the housing application that's what it's called the housing application for next year is out and uh, and so now that we're not first year I mean uh, first quarter freshman anymore we can choose or I'm so stupid. Now that we're not freshmen anymore, we can choose uh, where we want to be in which dormitory. Um, and so my roomie matcher is going to have to put take that into account. And there's also more things I want to do with the hobbies. Now let me back up for a second. I made a roomie matcher for my freshman class. So people could find compatible people to room with. You could put in your uh, personality and your uh, like wake up hours and all these different things. And it would you would go on a website and put in your name, and then it would bring back all the people who are most compatible with you, uh, ordered from greatest to least. So now I'm trying to I want to make that even better. So. I gotta like, I don't know, I gotta work something out before I think January 23 or something. Ah, uh, God, I don't know. It's gonna be a little bit of, a little tight. But I have some friends who are good at these things, so I'm gonna ask them if they wanna help. Okay. And last thing is like, I got a lot of acne um, on finals week because. I'm not usually a stressed out person. In fact, I think I'm probably one of the least stressed people in my family, to be quite honest. It's, my family is, uh, sometimes they get stressed out easily. Um, and I think I'm not that stressed out, but finals came and it wasn't so much mental stress. It was mostly physical stress. Like I wasn't sleeping very well. And um, that's funny to say because I usually sleep very well I'm very much a early sleeper person compared to other computer science people. So I got a lot of acne and there's really not much that I've ever been depressed about in my life or sad about um, besides acne. I've never really um, had bouts of depression or any like harsh uh, mental statuses, state I, however you pluralize that word, but acne was like the one thing because I, I used to have really bad acne. Um, not as bad as some people, but it was pretty, it was pretty dire and I would try tons of ointments every day. I would sleep more. I would drink like a lot of water. I have two water bottles and I refill them every hour. So I'm drinking like like maybe 50 gallons of water a day or something ridiculous. And I would sleep well and with all these things I still had a lot of acne. And it would kind of depressed me because like everybody else had pretty good facial, you know, face, skin. It was good. Mine wasn't, so I was sad. That was like the only thing. That and I have acne on my shoulders and upper arms and even on my thighs. And it's like, come on guys, my thighs, why do I have acne on my thighs? That's so stupid, but I do. And so I just have to like point point on it until it goes away. And it's been 19 years and it hasn't really gone away, so. I was a little sad <laughs> this morning. I was like, why isn't it going away? Um, so that's it. That's what's happening in my life. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Yeni Yolun Kutlu Olsun. I will see you later.